Erie County Family Court Judge Brenda Friedman. I handle all of the juvenile delinquent and pins cases for Erie County and uh, I'm very pleased and proud to be partnered in this circle today with Buffalo Public Schools, other leaders of the community, uh, parents and children in our community. And I'm Eric Ross, I'm Associate Superintendent for Student Support Services at the Buffalo Public Schools. Um, I felt that this circle was extremely powerful because it provided us an opportunity to come together as school, community, and other uh, community school stakeholders to really talk about ways in which we can develop and strengthen our relationships and the foundation by which we all will support the needs of our children in the city of Buffalo. What are some of like the most pressing needs that like students and families are dealing with in the Buffalo school and then also in the, the city of Buffalo as well? Yeah, for me, it's it's what some of the pressing needs is really the need for or the need for assistance. Um, of course, we're an educational institution, but we understand that there are a lot of things that are happening outside of the school system that students, unfortunately, are bringing into school. And we, as a institution, recognize that we need to be able to support their needs and addressing those areas that may not have much to do with the academic attainment of our students, but have a lot to do with the social, emotional, or wellness development and success of our students. Most of the youth that I see have experienced multiple traumas in their life and most of the time the needs that develop as a result of that have not been met. So sometimes substance abuse evolves out of that, sometimes mental health needs evolve out of that, sometimes just acting out behavior because they don't have the um, emotional supports that they need in order to maintain their control of their behavior. And so I see very needy children and we're not as a community meeting those needs. So the import of this circle today was to start a conversation about how we can all circle around those youth to try to provide um, the, to those supports and those needs on a community-wide, top to bottom, circle around this youth basis. What are some of the things that are currently working in the community? We know there are many challenges in, in every community and some more than others, but in the Buffalo School and in the city of Buffalo, what are some of the things that are actually working um, that maybe don't get enough attention that we may need to lift up? Well, I think that, you know, that's a very good question, um, and the answer is always in front of us. So I think one of the greatest things that's happening within the city of Buffalo is that you have a number of individuals in, in, in positions of, um, of great influence who are very cognizant and aware of what needs to happen and we're having those conversations and we're developing alliances we're strengthening our relationships you know developing new programs and approaches to meeting the various needs of our children and our families there are so many wonderful people in our community trying so hard to help our youth. Um, there are organizations trying to reduce street violence. There's organizations trying to bring restorative justice into uh, the daily practice in our schools. There's just individuals who are volunteering their time and energies to try to establish relationships and mentoring youth uh, in our community. There's a million amazing things and yet it's still not enough. So what we're trying to do is how can we be most effective garnering our resources and all of the energy and, um, and, and resources of our community to do the best thing for the most people um, to support our young people. Is there anything that you would like um, folks, parents, community members in the city of Buffalo to sort of know any way that they may be able to get involved if they haven't had the opportunity to take part in a circle like this? Yeah. Well, certainly, I would say that we're always open for additional, um, what I call, youth advocates to, to step up and, and be a part of this very important work for our youth here in the city of Buffalo, not just the Buffalo Public Schools, but you know the city um, at large. We are always open to suggestions. You know, people wanting to come a part of um, or come a part of what we are um, or become a part of what we're doing um, to support the needs of children. And if there is anyone who's interested interested in partnering with the Buffalo Public Schools and meeting the needs of our children, they can always email me at Eric J, excuse me, EJ Rosser at buffaloschools.org.
So I think that nothing that we do can be effective without the support of the community. I think the schools can do things and the justice system can do things and government can do things, but if we don't have parents who are actively engaged in that same thing, if we don't have the neighbor who's watching out for the youth on the street, if we don't have the community at large um, willing to support all of these different efforts, the whole thing fails. So we need every single person out there to engage in some way, in some form in this. We're a community, we're in this together, and we have to fight for our youth. Absolutely awesome. Thank you so much. I appreciate that.